Jean-Claude, Marie Laurel exclaimed. No. She grabbed her mother's her brother's wrist. Jean-Claude's head was hand was already in motion. All Marie Laurie did was throw his aim off. The water in the glass flew across the table straight at Joe. He saw it coming but too late to duck. He barely had time to scrunch his eyes shut. Then he was instantly soaked from the top of his head to the middle of his chest. Joe let out a gasp. The water was chilled. It felt even colder because the day was so warm. Still, he thought it could have been worse. At least there hadn't been ice cube in the glass. Someone put a dry napkin in his hand. He wiped his eyes, then the rest of his face. Across the table, Frank and the French twins had jumped up from their seat. They were watching him with concern. Hey, Joe, are you okay? Frank demanded. Joe Green, I don't think I have started to melt yet, he replied. I am so, so sorry, Joe, John Clark said in an anguished voice. I am an idiot. You won't get any argument from me, Joe, said grimly. He knew the French kid hadn't meant to splash him, and he certainly didn't intend to hold a grudge. Still, Jean-Claude should learn to control his temper. What had Dred said to set him off like that? Excuse me, Joe said, pushing himself up from the table. I better go dry off and change shirts. I will show you and Frank where you'll be bunky, Wally offered. It's right up the hill. Jean-Claude looked as if he wanted to apologize more. His sister seemed torn between anger and worry. Joe had gave them both a brief, meaningless smile and went to find his pack. He and Frank followed Wally onto the street. A lot of the village houses just have two floors, with one room on each floor. Wally explained as they walked downstairs was for cooking and eating and living. The whole family slept upstairs. What we are doing is putting them over into miniature dormitories with two bunk rooms. Here, this is us. The house he pointed to was the last one on the block. The shutters and the door were bright blue. Let me guess, Joe said. You painted them. Wally's smile flash. Right you are. Come, we have the upstairs room. That's lucky. It's at least a degree or two cooler at night. They went inside and climbed a narrow stone stairway to the upper floor. The room was bigger than Joe expected, with the window on two sides. One of the windows looked directly out at the ruins of the chateau.